Right now at Cincinnati Playhouse in the Park, a world premiere of a play about a little-known chapter in our region's history. And cast members Leroy McLean and Shane Taylor here to tell us more about Safe House. And thank you both for coming in this morning to nice. talk about Safe House. And uh, Safe House is, uh, you play brothers in this play, which yes. was written by a local man, uh, Keith Joseph Atkins. Yes. It was inspired by his uh, Kentucky relatives set in 1843. Mm -hmm. Now, considering the time and the place, uh, slavery is an important component of, uh, of this play, but that's yeah. not central to it. Is it? Right. It, it? No, it, it very much narrows down to the dynamics of a, a particular household and the ramifications that, uh, that the choices that they make. Yeah. Um, two, two different brothers have very different ideas of what freedom means. Right, and, and, and just to clarify, you born free. Uh, yeah. Born free. Not freed yes. slaves, but born, born free. free. Does that play into the dynamic at all? Oh, it does, absolutely. I mean, it's, and the interesting thing is that, you know, many people didn't know that there were, you know, free people of color uh, coexisting with, with slaves in Antebellum yeah. South. So it's a very interesting uh, story uh, that uncovers a lot about our history, our yeah. shared history. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 you, uh, Talk a little bit more about the family dynamic and how that kind of drives the play. We have, um, you have Addison and Frank. Yeah, Addison's the older. Is, is the older one, slightly older. Slightly. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and then you have, then you have, um, then you have uh, Aunt Dorcas. Okay. Um, and so the three of us are basically pent up in this house and have been for the last two years when you when the play opens, okay. um, you see them dealing with that frustration of, of, of being caged yeah. basically for two years because of a past transgression where they were caught harboring um, fugitives. Okay, and, and because you are kind of forced to be together, it, it kind of uh, explodes yeah, at times. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah, <laughs> and so tensions, tensions are, 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 are high, sure. and literally, you know, the, you, know you put a, a spoon out of place, and it, and it can set like a, an entire And uh, I would imagine argument. the accelerant here is because the older brother and the younger brother have totally different ideas about how to approach life. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. And what the future means to them. Yeah. You know, I know for Frank, at least, he's, you know, been binded up for for two years and he's never really been able to been, be an individual and live life on his terms yeah. it's always been dictated to him yeah. so yeah. that's ultimately what he wants yeah. and whereas Addison sees uh, you know continuing on in the shoemaking business which is what his father and his grandfather did but not only doing that but expanding it and creating a business opening the house out yeah. and actually making a, a store out of it. Oh, okay, right. but the dynamic there makes for a compelling play, and uh, I, I read one review where there's a, an audible gasp by one of the developments in it. I'm not going to read it. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to go see the play, but uh, yeah. uh, Leroy, Shane, thank you both uh, so much for coming in and oh, talking absolutely. about Safe House. Uh, here, the show runs through November uh, 15th. Uh, performances Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, for more information, call 421-3888, or you can actually get tickets at cincyplay.com. And uh, we'll be right back.